Right, welcome to the how to deploy Active Directory into Azure tutorial. So what you're going to need to do is, once you log into the Azure portal, if you do uh, hit create resource, do a search on the marketplace for Active Directory domain controller. And what you'll see there is a pre-configured Windows 2016 or 2019 domain controller. So we will go with 2019. So there's no real difference between 2016 and 2019. The only difference in 2019, there is an attribute, an addition of an attribute in the Active Directory schema. The domain functional levels and forest levels are the same. They haven't gone to 2019 there, 2016 in 2019 so we'll hit hit create we will just create a new resource group we'll just call it ad test give it a the machine name so we'll just say dc01 pick a region so i'll just say west us don't need any high availability options uh, just pick a size. I'll just go for a small size. Give a username. So this will create a local admin account. Hit next. Discs will leave as they are. Networking will create a new VNet. If you've got an existing one, you can choose an existing one. Uh, We'll leave all the defaults as they are, that's fine. Uh, we'll take off boot diagnostics. You can leave it on if, if that's a uh, requirement. Next again. So review and create. And we'll hit create. Now this will go ahead and set up your virtual machine with all the required Active Directory roles. We'll then remote desktop into the virtual machine and we'll do the DC promo, which will promote this to an, uh, a, a domain controller, either in a brand new Active Directory forest or we can add it to an existing domain if you have a, a domain already on-prem or within Azure. So I'll just let that run now. And then once that's finished its deployment, we then need to go to the VM, hit connect, and then we'll RDP straight into it using the username and password that we provided during the installation. So. Just let that load. And you get a little message, just hit yep. Then we'll let the server manager load. Cancel that. And then we should get a little yellow exclamation mark pop up here in a minute once it finishes loading.
there it is, click on that promote this server to a domain controller now you've got a few options you can add a domain controller to an existing domain if you've already got a domain or in this case we're going to create a brand new forest just for this little uh, tutorial just let it finish loading okay add new forest we'll just call it testad.lab hit next so as I said at the beginning the forest and demand functional levels in 2019 are 2016 so Microsoft haven't released any new features in 2019 so we'll just leave it at that so we'll set a password for the directory services restore mode so I'll just put one in next hit next again we can ignore that because I don't have any DNS or any other domain controller set up in my environment the net bias name we'll leave it as the default that comes up hit next we'll leave it on the default And that's the review options that we done. It will do the prereq check. So normally, what you would do in a production environment, you'd have a uh, a static IP address set for your domain controllers. But in this, we're just going to let the setup is going to set up uh, all that. Well, it's not going to set a static IP address. It's going to use the IP address provided by Azure. So hit install and then that will just run through all the installing the roles setting up the on the NIC it sets the DNS server address as its local address so it will be 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 .0 I think And that's it. So it will just go ahead and it will start restarting the server. Once it's done, it will then reboot and then you'll log on with your uh, the same user username and password that you used during the installation. And then that username and password will then be the domain admin username and password using your in your domain. So let's let that restart. Right, I think that's restarted now after I pause the video. So let's use this is the username and password that I provided during the install. There we go. So you can see it's now the VM in that part of the new domain we've created. So now if we look in server manager, we should have 
some new tools installed. Yep. So if we have a look at Active Directory users and computers. See, it's created our new domain, and if we look at domain controllers container, you'll see our new domain controller. And if we have a quick look at the next settings to see what changes it made, it should have changed the local DNS server address. Let's have a look. Yep, there you go, 127.0.0.1, which is itself. And then obviously if you've got a second domain controller in your bar, in your environment that's running DNS, you'd put, that, you'd put the IP address of it in there. And that's it. That's how you set up Active Directory in an Azure environment. Thanks very much.